Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing. So, so much more. So for this video, I thought I would share my basic foundational tips on how to start a business because entrepreneurship has literally blown up over the last couple of years and I'm also taking this path myself so I figured like the foundation of everything that you need this video is going to explain all of that good stuff so the first tip is obviously to figure out what kind of business it's going to be like what is it what do you want to sell what do you want to do like what actually is your business what um what industry is it going to be in? Are you going to have a product that you sell? Is it going to be a personal brand? Is it going to be a personal brand alongside your business? Like, what is it? And sometimes, like, people want to start a business just for the goddamn sake of it, which I fully understand because not everybody wants to have to work for somebody else. So I do understand why. But at the same time, I also think that, like, entrepreneurship is hard work. And I can tell you that from experience, it is hard work and it's not um, like you don't have a normal shift pattern or normal work hours. It can oftentimes be 24 seven, you know, it can be like long, long hours. And even when you're not working, you're thinking about that thing because it requires so much dedication and so much time towards it. So I really recommend that if you want to start a business, you will choose something that you're actually passionate about, something that you really love and really like and want to do. And not just for money, because you will burn yourself out and you may as well work for somebody else if you're just going to solely do it for money, because obviously... Like when you work for somebody else, you have no passion for it. And when you work for yourself, but it's not something you enjoy, you'll have no passion for it. So either way, you're going to burn yourself out, you know, and it won't be emotionally fulfilling. So, yeah, you really need to pick something that you actually love. Otherwise, like if I didn't love what I'm doing right now, there is no way in hell I would stick with it because it literally requires all of yourself to be invested in it. OK, I didn't mean to say, OK, that sounded really patronising. <laughs> <laughs> so once you know what it is that you want to offer to the world, what kind of business it's going to be, you then need to figure out your target audience. And this is like the key in business because really the majority of businesses are supplying some kind of service or product or like they're offering some type of value to other people, to a specific person or type of person so once you know what it is you then need to research everything about that thing everything about your product or your service or your business whatever it is and be able to understand exactly who is going to want that value who is going to want that service you know so you need to know your target audience and then be able to work out different ways to reach them like where are they who are they what do they like and where are they is like essential things to know about them. And, and sometimes like your target audience could be um, pretty broad. Like there could be multiple people that would like it, but it's really important to narrow it down to like specifics. Who is going to be the main people that would want this thing? Who is going to want it the most, you know? And really get clear on that because it will be able to... Um, it will help you be able to actually reach those people and find them and know whereabouts they actually are, like which social media platform do they live on the most, which area, which country, which everything about them, you know, so then you can figure out how to actually reach them because I especially, when I thought about um, making music and things, sometimes you don't think about the fact that like it's all well and good having this song or this product or this whatever, but if you can't reach the people that are going to want it then it's literally wasted because it's not going to go anywhere so you need to know who's going to like it so for me I needed to know who my target audience would be for my music like even though anyone could like it there's a potential for any type of person to like it but who who is the person that's most likely to enjoy it and keep coming back and want more and more songs you know so you really have to narrow it down to the specific target customer 
And then once you know those things, like this is without even going and creating the product or service, this is just brainstorming and really getting clear on all of these things. And then you can start to implement all of the legal things like the business name and the social media handles that you might want and like the website, all of these other admin type of things and the legal things that you might need to do, like creating your um, limited company or LLC if you're in America, creating those and all of that kind of thing. Like um, once you're really clear on what your product is, how you're gonna create it, how you're gonna offer it and all of that stuff, and then you know who you're giving it to, who you're targeting, then you can go about doing all of the legal things and getting everything completely set up. And then finally, after you have your product and your target audience and your website and all of the admin type things organized and figured out how you're gonna do it and in what order and those kind of things, you can then look at the different ways to market your business. And I would say get clear on all of these four things before you even do any of them. Like just get clear on exactly what it is that you want, exactly how you're gonna do it before you go and do it. So before you register your company name, before you create your website, like literally get clear on all of these four steps first and write them all down. It's almost like a business plan. Write them all down first before you then take these steps. So the fourth one is, um, what the fuck was the fourth one? <laughs> My mind's gone blank. So the fourth one is a marketing plan. It's exactly like what kind of content you're gonna create, what kind of um, strategies and things are you gonna use to be able to get it out to people. So you could use ads, you could use TV ads, you could use influencers, you could decide to create your own content, like your own um, blog or podcast or YouTube videos. Like what kinds of mediums are you gonna to use to promote whatever project or project whatever product or service it is that you have to offer you then need to come up with a full strategy on exactly how you're going to get it to people and this doesn't have to be complicated or overwhelming or like trying to do a million things at once you could just choose which one feels best for you so if you like being on camera maybe you want to start a um, YouTube channel or a podcast or something like that if you're not comfortable on camera then don't force yourself to be on camera you can choose something else it's like literally about deciding what works best for you and your product or service and brand whatever that may be you have to choose whichever mediums fit best for you so for me I quite like being on camera and it's something that I've like built myself up to be able to do and obviously I have to shoot music videos and things so naturally this is something that I would build myself up to be able to do like it's something that I've progressively got better at doing but when I first started I was absolutely terrified and would literally rush through all of my sentences and looked so awkward on camera so it does take a bit of getting used to and a bit of like you have to move through that fear but if it's something that you absolutely just don't like then you shouldn't do it you know so just pick whatever works best for you and for me this was something that I found the easiest and the most like creatively free so I wanted to create a YouTube channel and a podcast but for somebody else you may prefer writing and so you might want to create a blog or you may prefer just pictures so you might want to do Instagram or something you know it just depends whatever works best for you but I think it has to work in relation to whatever your product or service is so if it's clothing for instance then obviously photos and videos are going to be best to be able to push those items because people want to see what they look like you can't just be typing up a description of the clothes although maybe that could work but I don't think it would very well to be honest so um like obviously imagery would work best for clothing but then it's also how you're going to sell the story how you're going to tell the story of what what the item is and all of that kind of stuff so yeah I think it's just about finding a medium that works best for you so that you can then get the message across of what you want to say, what your story is, what the story of the brand is, you know? So yeah, I think it's just really about brainstorming because there's just so much that goes into it. And when you have all of these things written down or typed up on your computer, 
it makes things so much easier and so much clearer of the exact process and then the order that you're going to do things in and how exactly you're going to go about creating it like it's literally a step by step so I definitely recommend like brainstorming all of these points first and then you can work your way through doing each one of them as well but you'll actually know which order you want to do them in once you brainstorm the ideas so I really hope this was helpful and I wish you so much good luck with your creating your business and everything like it's so so possible you just have to believe in yourself trust yourself and the ideas that come to you and then just try it you know just go for it and whatever comes your way along the way you can adjust as you go and trial and error it basically because that is kind of what life is anyway we're just winging it but yeah so thank you so much for watching all my links to my music my phone number my social media and everything will be in the description box below definitely leave a comment if you have any topics that you want me to talk about it doesn't just have to be business related it could be absolutely anything and i will make sure to film so i will see you in the next video bye Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white